Hey guys, it's me King Diablo and in today's video I'll give you a full guide for ocean mode. So this is the full map for ocean mode with all the islands unlocked. So as you can see the ocean mode is uh, separated in two different modes. First one is normal PvE mode where you farm monsters and second one is the PvP zone where uh, you can also farm monsters but uh, you can PvP with other players too. Areas with the golden shark icon is the areas where you can find golden nine shark mobs which will need for bounty quests. I will explain bounty quest later but first see how to unlock the ocean mode. So to unlock the ocean mode you need to defeat the Cardi boss rush in the North Valencia. Unlocking the ocean mode also unlocks the goddess Sylvia statue which can be upgraded by using the fragments farmed from ocean mode. This statue increases your CP as you level it up. In the bottom part of the screen you can see a bar saying 0%. This is the endurance bar which you will need to farm ocean mobs to gain EXP and uh, get loots. You get 100% endurance which resets every week. Once your endurance bar reaches 0%, you can still do everything in ocean but you won't be gaining any EXP or loots from the ocean mode. So this is the Sylvia Goddess statue and as you can see, you can upgrade it with the tier of the Goddess farmed from motion mode. So you can obtain tier of Goddess from Paddock, Silent Runs, World Boss Khan, uh, Tower of Trials, Sedum, Madman John, Boss Rush uh, from Cursed Phantom Ship and by certain fish delivery quests which I'll explain further in the video. Now let's see how you can craft and upgrade your ship and how to obtain the materials to upgrade your ship. So first you need to dock your ship in any of the ports and go to the ship NPC in the map. From there you can craft your ship and equip the cannon and the frame for the ship. You can also upgrade your cannon and frame parts from here. So you get your tier 1 ship right after you unlock your ocean mode. The tier 1 ship does not come with any cannon so you cannot attack. You need to do some story mode to unlock the tier 2 ship which comes with mid range basic cannon. Then you can upgrade it to tier 3 ship which has short range, mid range cannon and more defense and attack. The tier 4 ship uh, has short range, mid range and long range cannon. Then you can upgrade it to tier 5 shape which has way more defense and attack. Unlocking each tier of shapes also unlocks the respective tier zones in ocean map. Also you will need to equip your camp workers to your ship uh, and the number of camp workers needed for the ship increases with the tier of your ship. So these are the requirements for unlocking the ships. The blueprints you can obtain by doing certain story missions in ocean mode. You will also need to meet certain ship level requirements to be able to unlock each tier of ship. I will show you how to obtain these materials to upgrade your ship later on in this video. Upgrading to each tier of ships gives you more attack and defense for the ship and it also gives you more sailing speed with better control over your movement. Now let's see how to enhance the ship parts. To upgrade your cannon you will need the steel parts and to upgrade your frame you will need the plywood parts. I will show you how to get these later on in this video. Enhancing ship parts can also fail like enhancing your normal gears. But upon failing it won't drop your current enhance level. You can also feed your ship parts to your black spirit to gain more enhancing materials for your ship parts. 
you can obtain more cannon and frame parts for your ship by either purchasing them from Shakatu shop or by certain chest drops from farming ocean mobs. To buy them from Shakatu shop you will need Okila coins which you can farm by doing basically anything in ocean mode. From farming mobs in ocean mode to doing some fish delivery quests, everything gives you some Okila coins. You can also buy repair kits with these coins which can be used in combat to repair your ship. You can also appraise your items from here. Once you unlock your tier 2 ship, you need to load your cannon with cannon balls from here. Your ship can store only a certain amount of cannon balls to use in one go. Once you run out of cannon balls, you need to come back in here to reload them. Without cannon ball, you can't fight an ocean. Now let's see how to gain EXP and loot from Ocean Mode. So this is where you can accept your uh, wanted missions weekly. You get 7 wanted missions and they reset every week. These wanted missions give you a lot of ship EXP and other loots. The amount of EXP and loots you gain from wanted mission increases with the tier zones you unlock in ocean map. You can also gain loots and EXP by farming monsters in ocean mode. You can check the different loots dropped by monsters in ocean modes in different tiers of zones in ocean map. So as you can see you can gain paddocks passes, okila coins, treasure chest and ship parts by farming ocean mobs. You can appraise these treasure chests to gain cannon and frame parts for ship and also the materials required to enhance them. The paddock island passes can be used to enter the paddock island which I will explain later on in this video. You can also obtain these ship parts by farming certain monsters in ocean mode but the drop is RNG. These ship parts can be used to unlock different tiers of ships. From the tier 5 zone in ocean map you can obtain the eventide note item and the phantom ship hook item. I will explain the use of these two items later on in this video. These are phantom ships that randomly appear in ocean map and drop these phantom fragments that give Okila coins and these uh, treasure chests. The tier 5 and tier 4 uh, phantom ships drop their respective tier of loots. You can also obtain certain rewards by completing the quest for the exploration log of ocean. Upon obtaining uh, 35 phantom fragments from tier 4 and tier 5 zone phantom ships, you can get these lost pirate chests. You also get these phantom ship hooks by gaining uh, 35 phantom fragments from the tier 5 phantom ship. But the tier 4 phantom ship only gives the lost pirate chest. You can also obtain 25 ship parts for crafting tier 5 ship weekly by defeating 50 monsters in the tier 4 zone in ocean map. You can also do these fish delivery quests which gives you a lot of rewards. You can obtain the first 3 fishes from eventide isles only and the others you can farm from normal ocean map. 
As you can see you can get a lot of good items by doing these fish delivery quests. The fish delivery uh, list resets every week. The quality of fish and the rewards you obtain from it depends on the tier of zone you, you have unlocked. So these are the loots you obtain from the Madman John Boss Rush. These are loots from the Paddock's Island. And these loots you get from Wild Boss Khan. These uh, scales you can sell for silver. The ship frame and cannon you obtain from Wild Boss Khan depends on your tier of ship. You can also gain a lot of items including the ship parts by doing the story missions in Ocean Mode. These are the wanted mission mobs you can farm in Ocean. These mobs drop guaranteed ship parts and higher tier of loots than normal ocean mobs. They spawn randomly in certain areas in ocean map and especially in PvP zones. These are the chests you can farm in ocean map. Some of them spawn randomly and some spawn uh, when you are farming mobs in ocean map. The ones that appear randomly gives you loot like these. The ones that appear while you are farming mobs in ocean map gives a guaranteed paddock silent passes or the phantom ship hoax in tier 5 zone. There is also another kind of chest that drops while farming ocean mobs which gives ship repair kits and the ship uh, cannon and frame upgrade materials. Now let's see how combat works in ocean mode. So in combat you can use the cannon to hit enemies and the hook to stun them for a short period of time. So there are three types of cannons, the mid range, the short range and the long range. You will be using the mid range cannon mostly. The mid range cannon has good range and does the most damage out of all three cannons. The short range cannon does the lowest damage of all and has the lowest range but can deal with more enemies at once. The short range cannon is only good for farming ocean mobs if you have high enough ship CP. The long range cannon on the other hand is uh, really good for PvP. It has really good range and can focus on one enemy effectively. You can also lock on opponents by using the target lock options and uh, dodge their attacks by using the speed up option. Now let's see how Paddock Silent works.
So you can gain a really high amount of silver by selling this pirate's golden compass. You can obtain almost 100 uh, Paddock's Island passes from a tier 5 zone in ocean. So that's almost 40 billion silver if you level it up high enough. The amount of loot you gain from Paddock's Island increases with its level. So now let's see how Phantom Ship works. You can gain these loots from the Phantom Ship. Attacking Phantom Ship does consume a lot of endurance, but it does not give you any ship EXP. So if you don't have any endurance left, attacking the Phantom Ship won't give you any rewards. And as I mentioned previously in the video, obtaining 35 Phantom Fragments from the Tier 4 Zone Phantom Ship gives you a Lost Pirate Chest. And obtaining 35 Phantom Fragments from the Tier 5 Phantom Ships gives you a Lost Pirate Chest and also 10 uh, Phantom Ship Hooks. These Phantom Ship Hooks can be used to enter the Madman John Boss Rush. And also if you attack the phantom ship once and leave it but other players keep attacking the ship then it will keep consuming your endurance points and you will keep getting the loots until the phantom ship dies. Now let's see how the madman John boss rush works. You can start the Madman John boss rush from the cursed phantom ship area in the tier 5 zone of ocean map. You will need 10 of these phantom ship hooks for one run of the Madman John boss rush. Now let's talk about fishing. Firstly, you can fish in any area of the ocean without consuming any stamina. The high tier fish drop rates in this kind of fishing is very low. You can use the fish you get from here for minor fish delivery quests or use as food for camp worker tasks. These are special fishing spots in ocean. And fishing in these spots does consume stamina. The drop rate of better quality fish is very high in here. The drop rate for yellow and orange fishes in these spots are very high. And you can use these fishes for fish delivery quest and they give a lot of good rewards. Now let's talk about the fishing in the Eventide Island. So when you fish in this Eventide Island, you can get some rare fishes that only drop in this area. Using these fishes for the fish delivery quest gives you really high tier rewards. In order to fish in the Eventide Island, you need to dock your ship on the island. 
To enter the Eventide Island fishing zone, you will need some special item called the Eventide Island Owner's Note. You can farm these notes from Tier 5 zone in ocean, but its drop rates are not that high. Each of these Eventide Island notes let you enter the fishing spot for 5 minutes. You can stack them up to increase the time. When inside the glowing Eventide Island fishing spot, you can normally farm the fish and they will drop purple to orange level fishes. There will be some golden fishing spot appearing in this fishing zone from time to time. Fishing in these golden spots give you red, orange and yellow tier fishes only. The three kind of fish you can farm from these golden spots give you the highest tier of loots from fish delivery quest. These golden spots disappear after a certain time but they reappear again soon. Once the time limit is over, you will automatically be kicked out of this glowing Eventide Island fishing zone. Now I will share some tips and tricks for this ocean mode. So firstly you can see these whirlwinds appear in ocean map randomly. If you pass through them, some of them boost your sailing speed. The second tip I will give you for ocean mode is that to never fully AFK in the ocean mode. Either do fully manual farming or do semi AFK. This is because you will need to reload your cannons often anyways and uh, since you will be farming mostly in the PvP zone, the chances of you getting killed while in AFK is high. Thirdly, I would suggest you to farm only violent mobs or wanted mobs in ocean mode since these ones give a lot more EXP and loots than normal mobs. Another thing I would like to suggest is that never to use your Okila coins before getting your tier 5 ship. This is because once you get the tier 5 ship, you will need a lot of Okila coins for the cannon and the frame parts of the tier 5 ship. Also, I like to let you know that the chicken soups or the stone of luck does not work in ocean mode. Also another tip I would like to give you is that you can always BSM farm with your character while you are doing your ocean farming. Entering the ocean mode while your character is AFK farming will turn on the BSM mode. In BSM mode the loots and EXP you gain are lower but it's still worth it. But once you dock your ship in a port the BSM mode will turn off. Now I would like to show you my favorite farming spot in the tier 5 ocean zone. This area in the tier 5 zone got a lot of violent mob clustered together and they give a lot of good loots. The ship EXP gain in this area is really high too. But you need to be careful while farming in this area because the mobs in here deal a lot of damage. That's it for this video and if you enjoyed the video then don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share. I will see you in the next video.